But I have come into this idea that it's okay to feel that emotion and then to let it go. When you make a mistake, I think people have it wrong. At least I've kind of always had it wrong. I've always gone on the idea that you either feel emotionally bad about it or you learn from it. And it's always been like, you can only have one or the other, they're mutually exclusive. But what if you process your emotion and then you go into learning? Now, what do I mean by that? So yesterday I posted day five of the gallon of water challenge series and I used my new hook. And the hook worked great, it's fantastic. But the rest of the video didn't do well and I know what my mistake is. So my emotion is, let's say, frustration. Now I could feel that all day or I could tell myself, no, I'm not gonna feel frustrated, this, that or anything else. <clears throat> but I have come into this idea that it's okay to feel that emotion and then to let it go. So instead of either having your emotion or learning from it, you have your emotion and then you go into learning from it. I uh, wiped this all off before I started filming, but I was pleased with the video I made yesterday. But what I forgot through the story of this TikTok was that I forgot to tease the struggle that I was having drinking this water. I spent so much time focusing on this beginning of this feeling, this emotion that I had, and I forgot to add that in at different sections of the story. And I'm expecting the viewer, especially on a platform like TikTok, where attention spans, it's so easy to lose someone that you need to continuously tease it. And so I think a new thing to add into my videos or something to be more conscious of, which we'll do in this next video, which we're about to script out, is to tease this feeling, this emotion that I had at the beginning throughout the story until we overcome it at the end. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that is not easy, trying to draw while holding this in your hand. Three things I wanna do today. One is to do the five ga the gallon a day for five days recap video. I want to plan out or at least, f yeah, at least plan out a the next video on no poo, which is, which is gonna be the update to doing the hair analysis. I've got some good ideas for that. And then I also want to start working on a video for using a shower head filter that I bought and how that works with my no poo and scalp. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've been doing a no poo series on TikTok. It's absolutely crazy. It has like 60 million views across platforms, probably even more than that, which I know, like, I don't understand that number. That, does, that number doesn't make any sense to me, but that's the number. Ugh. May I interest you in what I've completed here? Uh, let me give you a quick little breaky down down of the story. Get nice and arranged. We have our hook. Very good. I'm gonna call this the point of no return. This is where the viewer knows that the what they're what they've just heard in the hook is happening. And then actually, I used to use this section here as the catch, the thing that goes wrong that triggers the emotion, what I'm feeling. But since I'm able to get that in the intro, I've adapted this slightly and used this as the reason for the whole video to begin with and give a reference point to something that's happened before. And then we go across here in, I try this, what's the result of that, the outcome? Try, how does that then lead into the next thing I try? What's the result of that? How does that lead into the next thing? And then here, I was about to, erase it, erase, erase. And I thought I'd use this as kind of a talking point, kind of explain what I was thinking, because this leads into the, the whole reason for this video. <laughs> so this is like what I would call the crisis to the whole video. Lots of red X's, what's gonna happen? Oh my gosh. This is the point where the person has, is so involved in watching the character in the story that they, the character reaches this point and it's like, oh my gosh, like, are they gonna continue? Are they even gonna complete this thing? So initially I had, I was seeing small improvements in my skin hydration 
by the end of day three, but feeling bloated all the time, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that could be way more dramatic. By the end of day three, I was only seeing small improvements, but feeling terrible all day. And back at a low score on day four, I thought about giving up and moving to Valyria. That's a grayscale joke. Game of Thrones grayscale. I don't know if people pick up on it. If they do, cool. If they don't, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> but I think this is much more dramatic. And really it's just a switching of the wording because I'm saying I'm only seeing small improvements. So that's like a negative thing. I feel terrible all day. And I went back down to a low score. Those are three good reasons for someone to consider giving up whatever they're doing. I also, I like the way I spell and here. Amended. And. and then I also mentioned in the video that you're watching right now that I would add in some more points that bring it back to this feeling terrible, this emotion. And I, I added one in, feel awful, up all night peeing, feeling gross. I think I could change gross to feeling hot, sweaty and bloated. And then we have terrible again. And then this is the turning point for the whole video where I now then realize that I'm doing this for fun, like this should all be fun. And so I turn it into a game and then we have the final reflection point. And at this point, I like, it's a subconscious thing for the viewer, but they hear this story, they think of all of this stuff going wrong here, but just remember that life is about having fun, free will, enjoying yourself, turning things into a game. Oliver, that's so sweet. So I am gonna record this and then I'm gonna look at the footage that I shot for the no poo shower filter because I did shoot me setting it up a while back. I just never ended up finishing the video. See what that footage looks like and see if I need to reshoot some of it because I'm pretty sure I filmed the whole video. But this is the very important thing, right? Even if I shot this a month ago, I can still use that footage, but I will, like if I use this filter for five days, that's what the video topic is gonna be. I will make sure that I do this for five consecutive days to give a true result and actually see what happens as opposed to being like, oh, I've shot day one, I can just do it for four days now. I think those things are super important. I've mentioned this before. You know that, self-righteous Oliver. Okay, I'm gonna edit. <laughs> you know what? Actually, just before I edit, I wanna tell you, I meant to mention this in yesterday's video, but the grounds crew TikTok, the prepping the soccer field at Sporting KC, they posted that on Friday. It is now Tuesday and it's at 200,000 views. Weirdly, it actually shot up to 200,000 views in like 48 hours and then it's just died. So over the last like two days, it's only done 3.8 thousand views. Strange, but can't control those things. They're happy with the 200,000 views. So, booyah. <laughs> shipment. Didn't realize this was arriving today. Could join. Okay, quick empty. I don't know how exciting a lot of this is. Oh, a straight hair comb. This, ladies and gentlemen. I want to do a beard care series where I actually try and make give myself a proper beard. And so this is a heated beard straightening comb. Because right now I don't know what I'm doing with my beard. Look at that, USB-C chargeable, heated, oh baby. Lovely. <laughs> I bought some fade combs to give myself a fade on the side. I don't know, I, we'll see if it works. That'll be funny to try. A mini bow. Is that how it works? I'll give it a go in a second, hold on. Let's just see what else we got. Ah, yes. This is gonna be really good for my scalp for the No Poo series. You can fill it with like oil or shampoo or something in there. And then you can squeeze it out while you're doing it. I just thought that's a unique item for a video. And that's, I guess, kind of my thinking is that the unique item will make people interested in watching. Oh, yes. A butterfly safety razor, which looks part destroyed. Look how cool that is. That's how it opens and closes. That is why I bought this, really. People were suggesting 
when I was doing a cutthroat razor series, people were suggesting I try a double-edged safety razor. And when I saw they have one that opens like that, I thought that is a cool visual for a video and for me to try. Hot wax gloves for the hot wax series, obviously. Got one in every flavor. Which, funny thing, on Timu, they're called flavor. But obviously, they're different, like, scents or there's different stuff in them. But I used the term flavor in my videos to describe them, and that got a kick out of people. Blue gloves. I think you put your hands in lotion and you can sleep in these. I like that idea. Eyebrow stencil kit. Eyebrow cutting kit. Which I think will be its own video. I think doing that would be kind of interesting to do or having Shay do it to me. This comb. So this one should be really good for where I've got uh, dry skin. These little holes in the end of here is I meant to actually pick up the dry skin and then you can drip it out like that. Cool visual for a video. Oh, a hand slingshot. I didn't even know I bought these. Again, just like fun things for videos. Okay, I don't have much time now, but we'll give these a go tomorrow. Bow right now. Okay, oh, maybe it goes through there. I think I should not fire it at the camera. I'll fire it at this box. Just a small test before tomorrow. Okay, it works. Didn't know how I'm gonna use that, but it might be fun. <laughs> uh, by the way, I got the five days recap of the gallon uploaded. It's doing pretty well, I think it's like 20. It's been up for three and a bit hours and it's at 28,000. So doing pretty well. Okay, night night.